Welcome to the day two report of the Tokyo Pen March 2017 extravaganza. Uh, today was a much more peaceful day. I uh, woke up, uh, had the hotel buffet, and I went back to uh, the Marzen Book Fair, book fair Pen Fair, uh, to just hang around and, and, and meet up with uh, a fellow Tokyo Pen Pal. For coffee and, and like pen chatter, uh, we also took around around uh, took took a walk around Eurobox, uh, checked out some of his goods. My friend is an avid vintage Conklin collector, um, and, and Fujisan of, of Eurobox is very good at sourcing pens. Uh, he has a large, it's not actually a collection because it's for sale, um, chatted a bit. Uh, he personally only has around, um, I think, 20 or so actual pens that, that he considers like, like keepers. Uh, the rest will, will, will get, get cycled through his store all the time. What one pen of note, uh, which I have photos of somewhere, is I think some sort of like 70s uh, quartz pen. It, 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 it's not a founder pen, sorry, it's not a founder pen, but I thought it was, it was pretty unique. Uh, it, it, it's basically a, I think he, he called it a shabo, uh, sort of like for a uh, half mechanical pencil to half ballpoint. Uh, it, it, it's usual twist to, to switch between two, that's normal. But on the back, there is a, a tiny quartz LCD, uh, which has alarm functions and time functions and everything, which is Pretty cool. Mm. And then I headed off for the first event of the day, which was a visit to Pen Cluster in Ginza. Now, Pen Cluster is uh, not your usual sort of store. It, it, it's the, the owner, uh, Toyama san, is an avid collector who, who also does a lot of uh, assists in and does. A lot of custom work. Mm. And, and, and if you go to the Pen Class website, all you see are, are extremely good conditions of high end collector pens. Um, I'm afraid the company that I was I'm, I'm keeping these few days are all uh, higher caliber collectors, and a lot of the places I go are. So like people trying to complete collections or 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 or, or, or get uh, aftermarket custom finishes on, on, on pens and stuff. Mm -hmm. For instance, he showed us uh, some vintage fifties Mont Blanc one four four pens in uh, green straight celluloid and grey straight celluloid, and they were in perfect condition. Like like. A lot of what you might see these days, if you ever come across the, 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 the weird stripy um, box, uh, box before, is, is that a, a lot of the silhouette has like faded over time, or, or like the ink, uh, because they've been inked, the ink sort of reacts with the silhouette and like sort of degrades the quality. These, these colors were the brightest I've ever seen. So that was super cool. Uh, and, and all along the back of the store, it's actually a very small store. On the back, it, 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 it's uh, just shelves of, of of just rare pens on display for sale, obviously at a price. Uh, if you are to go there, it, it, it's a little hard to find, but but um, I I think it's worth a visit. He also speaks a lot of English, um, and he, he's a cool guy. Hmm. You can just take a look at like, like, like what sort of pens you have. Like a lot of these Asian collectors are are super into like vintage Western pens. So so that's what you'll see. And then we had uh, some very nice lunch. It was raining and super cold. Had, had some soba and tempura. Uh, and then we went off to the what's this called again? The Japan Folk Crafts Museum. I'm afraid I have no video. And no photos because it, it was actually no video, no photo zone. It's a fairly quiet museum. I think it's uh, it's worth visiting. It's uh, where was it? 
it's like two stops away from Shibuya and, 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 and you walk a very short distance past coffee shops, a really nice bakery. <laughs> like bread, uh, delicious looking bread. We actually bought some, it actually is good. Uh, at, at, at the end of the long path, well, the long one was like 10 minutes walk, um, is, is a like small, small, it's a two, two story house, you know, like the, the, the old Japanese style, uh, where Suetsu Yanagi, uh, 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 this, this founder of the museum, and, and also, uh, I believe one of the uh, father of a very important art movement called the Minge. It, it, it's basically the idea of it, as summarized by my friend, is at, at during some time in the 1930s, 1930s, um, most people basically didn't care about the, the aesthetics of, 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 uh, of everyday items. And, and like they were only to art pieces, but, but this, but this man, they, they basically saw the value of, of, of like designing and uh, designing and appreciating just just everyday used objects, like that we're talking uh, cups, uh, 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 pory things. <laughs> what are they called? It's been a long day. I can't remember what they're called. Jugs. Thank you. <laughs> uh, jugs. A little bit of artwork. It's not. It's not super high. But a lot. A lot of it is like, oh, 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 like kimono prints and sort of like fabrics, uh, uh, pottery. A little bit of artwork, but but it's a little. Bit, uh, much of it is uh, like wooden prints. You know, it's fairly simple, but uh, you go in the 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 the, 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 uh, the sakura work was blooming, and you you take off your shoes, you wear you wear the slippers, and you just shuffle around. Uh, this old wooden mansion-y house place uh, with, with lots of very, very simple everyday just items but, but um, very, very beautifully decorated it, slightly minimalist I suppose as well um, so, so that, 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 that was a super cool uh, and then we're into, sh we're into Shinjuku for Sakaido, which is sort of like my favorite place to visit because everything is everything is a bit user grade, but it's all at a very good discount. Um, what did I see this time? Uh, there were all, all the sailor pens were there. I saw I, I saw a small size twenty one k, like 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 yeah fourteen k twenty one k, but occasionally you also see like a small size twenty one k. Music nib on, on like a sailor. That was very weird. Um, ink, ink is very cheap there. They have the new platinum Cassis Iron Gold. It's like classic Iron, Iron Gold series there. Um, no, just, obviously, they had the, the new Pilot the Grand series. Um, but I was there just to buy just, just to buy some some simple stationery, uh, like souvenirs and rubber stamps. Um, I found a cool like fortune cat set and and the red thing. Domon, I forget. It it it, it 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 it's a red kind of guy with the big bush eyebrows. Not that. Uh, that's cute. Uh, also, there's a king nut. Uh, today was the day they released the new vegetable series online. Not act, not for actual sale on the stock. I don't feel like going all the way there again, but um, yes, the, the, they have new vegetable series. Uh, I believe this is like spring, and it's pretty. I'm not sure we get it. I was there to check out a few um, vintage Mont Blanc one four sixes. Nothing, nothing came, nothing, nothing came out of it. It, it. it wasn't as soft as I'd hoped, so. No, no like there. And then for dinner, we went to Coco Curry because Coco Curry is awesome and they have the best curry and cheap curry and fast. And I really recommend the, the, the karage, which is like the, the, the deep fried chicken and with spinach. Unfortunately, I am a wimp and, and I can only stand up to level three. 
um, spicy curry, but it was still very good. And, and even though it's it's like three to ten degrees centigrade outside, no matter no matter what the temperature, the, 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 the restaurant is still going to serve you iced water. Uh, that was wacky, but whatever. So there you go. Uh, that's all we got today. More tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is going to be less pens. I'm going to art museum. We'll see you then.